Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, this is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we're glad they're in. We're so grateful, so appreciative for yet another opportunity to be able to come together as the people of God, the family of God, uh, the way we can pray together. We can bombard heaven together. We can intercede together. Uh, we can be able uh, to uh, do what it is that God has called us to do as being the people of God and the family of God. And that is uh, that is going before the throne of grace, uh, not just on behalf of ourselves, uh, but on behalf of one another. And so I'm thankful for that. I thank God for you all who are consistently um, persistent when it comes down to this moment. And, and you're just faithful and just committed and just jump on every single week. Um, I'm thankful for you all and I appreciate you. Um, I'm, I'm only here because you're here. And so I thank God. Thank God for you all, and I appreciate you. I pray that you will share this moment with someone, um, even at this time or when the video comes out a little later. You can share this uh, link with someone so uh, you can be a blessing uh, to them. So, Father, we thank you. We give you all of the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. We thank you for this is the day that you have made, the day that uh, we are rejoicing that we choose to rejoice. We made up in our minds to rejoice and to be glad therein. We're so thankful and so appreciative uh, for life and health and strength. We thank you for the use and activity of our limbs. We thank you uh, for allowing us, God, to, um, to, to be a part of this day. And not only are we a part of this day, God, you have allowed us to be, um, be in our right mind. Um, we, have, we have a reasonable portion of strength, may not be as strong as we desire, um, but we, we have strength nonetheless. Uh, we have a cognitive ability to where we're able to reason and to think and to remember and, and things of that nature. We're, we're thankful for that. We, we, we give you glory and honor and praise for, for those things we don't ever want to take for granted. We don't ever want to take for granted the, um, the wind that you've given us in our lungs. We don't ever take for granted, um, the ability that you put in our limbs. We don't ever want to take those things for granted. And we thank you. Thank you for your uh, divine design of even of our bodies, um, that where we oftentimes kind of just kind of go through the motions until we have hiccups or until we have setbacks or until someone that we love have hiccups or setbacks in their physical body. A lot of times we just kind of kind of just 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 enjoy life. Um, but we thank you that you de designed our bodies um, to function the way that they function and the and the and the flow the way that the way that it flows and it's because of your divine design because of your creative genius uh, you put our bodies together and the, and the the kidney does what it's supposed to do and the liver does what it's supposed to do and the and all of our other vital organs and all of our parts and facets of our bodies they do what they're supposed to do uh, a lot of it independent of us I have really nothing to do with us because uh, you designed it that way, and we're so thankful for that. Thank you for um, allowing us to experience uh, your creative genius, and thank you uh, for allowing us to be a part of your handiwork. We are we're part of your handiwork. We're we're the only thing in the creative world um, that you that you formed uh, with your hands, and and you breathed the breath of life in. Uh, we, we, we thank you for that. Thank you. Um, uh, we're your crowning jewel, um, uh, of, of creation. And we not only are your, your crowning jewel when it comes to your creation, we are your image bearers. You said that we, uh, we've been created in your image and in your likeness. We are, uh, what the theologians call the Imago Dei. Uh, we are, we are your image bearers and your image carriers. And we, we thank you for that. Thank you. We pray that we'll reflect, um, who you are. We pray that we'll reflect what it is that you had in mind when you made us in the very beginning. We pray that we'll emulate that and walk that out. And we pray, God, that there'll be a part of our being and a part of, of who we are. We, we give you glory for that. We understand that, that we were made, uh, with the express intent. We were made, uh, for the, for the express purpose, uh, just to give you glory and give you honor. That, 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 that looks a lot of different ways. That shows up a lot of different ways, but, but ultimately, 
what it is that we were created to do. We were created uh, to bring you glory and bring you honor and bring you praise. And we, 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 we want to reflect that. We want to, we want to resemble that. We want to, we want to, we want to act that out. We want to walk that out. We want to live that out. We want to bring you glory in all of the things that we do. And we, 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 we thank you for revealing that to us and showing that to us so we can be able to strive for that. Uh, and God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that that will be our intent, that we will bring you glory in everything and we'll bring you honor in everything and we'll bring you praise in everything. We, we pray that that will be what it is that we long for and strive for, that that will, will like a deer that painted after the water so our, our souls will desire to want to honor you and glorify you and everything that we do in our lives. Help us, Lord, to be able uh, to do so, that where we won't complain and we won't fuss and we won't cuss and we won't um, gossip and we won't slander and we won't um, backbite and we won't do all these things, but we will just simply uh, give you glory and give you honor and give you praise uh, in, in the way that glorifies you and in a way that magnifies you in a way that 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 lifts you up. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that where that where we're we're always um, mindful of, of our purpose and we're always mindful of what it is, God, that you have uh, in mind for us and what you desire for us to do. Um, we want to bring you glory on our job. We want to bring you honor while we work, God. We want to we want to be like the. Sw seven dwarfs in a, in a real sense where we can be able to whistle while we work. Uh, but even better than that, we want to be able to worship while we work. God, we want to be able to lift you up. We want to be able to magnify you, God, not with, not just by the lifting of our hands and not just simply uh, by, by keeping um, Melanie in our heart and, and praising you in our heart. But no, we desire uh, to be able to do it and exemplify it in our work. Uh, we want to do it in our timeliness. We want to do it in our promptness. We want to do it uh, with with being on time and we want to we want to show you glory and honor with doing our very best um of what's been asked of us and 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 we pray God that we will we will do that on a daily basis where well, we won't be that problem employee we won't be that employee that, that that the boss got to get himself or herself together just to come and have a conversation with us but God we want to be able to be approachable and we want to be able to be flexible and we want to be able to be uh, uh we want to be a re receptive of whatever uh, um, feedback and whatever instruction or whatever insight has been given to us by our by our superiors and and that's that's what we're supposed to do we're called to that God to be able not just to the, the, the leap and the run and the dance um, when we are when we are, when we come together as the people of God but we're we're called to to be able to let our light so shine and let our lives be so lived and and in, in, in every facet of our lives we pray in the name of Jesus God to where to where we you you give us a spirit of humility to where we're able to receive see when someone is 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 giving us um constructive uh feedback and we're we'll we'll be we'll give us a spirit of humility that we'll be able to apply the feedback that they're given given us and we don't write it off and we don't push it off and we don't we don't get we don't get angry and we'll say oh you just hate it or or you you or you or you don't know me and all these types of things but but God we want to posture ourselves to where uh, especially when it comes to our, our superiors or our, our supervisors or our managers and our bosses and these individuals that you put all over us God the scripture says that there's no one that's in power except to be ordained by you anyone that's in power anyone that is uh, been put in any type of position, God, you, you allowed them to be there. And if you allowed them to be there, God, it's up to us to be able to, to bring you glory and honor God in our, in our submitting and in our, and our flowing and in what it is that we do to be able to do what it is that's been assigned to our hands. We want to bring you glory with what's been assigned to our hands, God. We want to bring you glory of what it is, God, that you've given to us. Whatever it is, God, we pray for the position and we pray for the job and we pray for the, uh, the for the degree and we got the degree in this field and all of these types of things but God we pray God if you've assigned it to us in our hand for and assigned our hands to it we want to do the very best that we possibly can we pray in the name of Jesus some of us have issues on our in our employment and some of us have some issues with, with, with where we work and God we pray in the name of Jesus that you'll help us to be able to, to can because of the issues we, we kind of just kind of going through the motions through, through because of the issues we just kind of just 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 
just doing what's expected of us, just barely enough, just so we can be able to say that we're doing what we're supposed to do and so we can keep our job. We pray, God, that whatever has transpired or whatever has happened, we pray, God, that you'll, you'll condition our hearts, God, to be able to release the hurt and release the pain, God, that we're able to be able to do what it is and function in a way, God, that we're able to bring you glory and bring you honor. God, that, that's our prayer today, God. I didn't have any intention on praying about this, but God, this is what you dropped in my spirit and this is where, this is where I'm going. God, we pray that you will, you'll help us. Everything, God, that's assigned to our hands, whether, whether it be our marriages. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that where that where we'll bring you glory and honor in our marriages. We bring you glory and honor with the way we treat our spouse. We pray in the name of Jesus, God, that where we where we'll have a heart and a mind, God, to be able to 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 lift you up and to be able to magnify you and to be able to exhort you in every situation, God. We don't wanna we don't we don't wanna we don't wanna get to the place, God, to where we're we're just flowing just out of our anger and our frustration and and what has happened and what has been said and all of those things. And God, we, we know we have real pain and there's real hurt, especially in, as it relates to marriage. But God, we desire to bring you glory and we desire to bring you honor in every situation. We desire God because that's what we've been created to, created for. We've been, we've been created, God, to be able to bring you glory and to bring you honor and to bring you praise. We, we bless your name this morning, God. We want to reflect that in our homes. We want to reflect that, to reflect that with our spouses. We want to reflect that, God, with our children. We want to, reflect that God with our siblings and we want to reflect that God with the people God that you put around us God we want to we want to bring you glory and we want to bring you honor God we don't want to we don't want to be the one God that is that is that is caught caught with the with the with the with the backbiting and the things that we say and the things that we do but no God we want to we want our conversation God to be seasoned with your grace and we want our conversation to be seasoned with your with your love and to be seasoned God with the power of God and the anointing of God God, we bless your name for it. We we bless you, God, for everything that you've assigned to us, God. We wanna we wanna magnify you in it. Everything, God, that you've assigned to us, God. We wanna we wanna pursue you. Paul said we got to forget those things that are behind us, and we got to we got to press forward. We got to forget those things that are behind us, and we got to reach forward. We got to forget those things that are behind us, and we got to know that we got to press toward the mark. For the call of the high, for the, for the, for the prize of the high calling that was in, that is in Christ Jesus. And we, we thank you for that. We, we give you glory for that and we give you honor. Help us, Lord, to, to forget about what was done and to forget about what was said and forget about the, the missed opportunities and forget about, uh, what, what we think we ought to be and what we ought to be doing and what we should be doing and, and who wasn't there and who didn't show up and all these things. And God, we desire, uh, to, to forget about those things and we'll never be able, uh, uh, to forget um, some things, we'll never be able to get it out of our mind when it comes to not rem not remember what transpired. But God, we can get to the place where the where you can heal us from the hurt, and I believe that's what you desire for us to be, and that's how we're going to glorify you, God. You, we, we won't we won't forget about who who said what. We won't forget about who did what. We won't forget about how it how it went down. And, and in some cases, you can allow us to be so removed from the, from this incident and so removed from the accident, so removed from the encounter that God, we can forget uh, some of the details of what transpired. And I pray that, that you allow us to, to forget some things, but God, those things that we cannot forget, we pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll be delivered from the hurt of the, of the pain, that we'll be delivered from what transpired, we'll be delivered from what happened, we'll be delivered from what was said, we'll be delivered from those things, and God, we'll be able to, 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 to look at it and know what transpired, but God, not be moved by it, not be motivated by it, God, not be controlled by it. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We desire uh, to give you glory and to give you honor and give you praise, God. We desire, God, to be able to, to do our very best and everything, God, that you've assigned to us. We desire to be like Nehemiah with a brick in one hand and a sword in the other. We desire to build in the fight and to build in the fight and to build in the fight. And God, that's, that's, that's the season that you got some of us in, God. We're building and we're fighting, God. We're building and we're fighting. We're 
We're building out and we're fighting. We're building and we're fighting. We're building up what it is, God, that you've, that you've assigned for us to build, be it our, 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 our marriages, our children, our careers. We're building, God. We're trying to come out of debt. We're building. We're trying to fix our credit. We're building. We're trying to, we're trying to start this business. We're building. God, we got the business going. We're just trying to get the traction and trying to get the momentum going. God, we're building, but God, the enemy is still fighting. The enemy is still fighting for, for us, for our mind. And he's still fighting us, God, for our, 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 our reputation even. He's still trying to fight us and trying to come against us uh, at every, at every turn. But God, we pray in the name of Jesus that we'll be focused, God, and we will not be distracted by the noise of the enemy and noise and uh, of the, of the enemy coming and saying what we can't do and what we shouldn't be doing and what we should be doing and all these other things. But no, God, we want to, we're going to ignore the same ballots of life and we're going to ignore the Tobias of life. We're going to know these individuals that are coming. They didn't have a problem until we started working on this wall. They didn't have a problem until we started building. They didn't have a problem until we started trying to come out. They had no problem until we started trying to advance. They had no problem until we started trying to move forward. They, they had no problem until we started trying to get ourselves together. But now that we are trying to get ourselves together, now that we are building, here comes the fight. But God, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, for everyone under the sound of my voice, God, that you'll give us a, a, a heart and a mind of sobriety. God, that where we will be sober. God, we won't be so intoxicated with, with the building that God will forget about the fighting. God, we don't want to be so enamored, God, the fact that we're building something. God, that we forget about the fact that we, we're still in the fight. God, we don't want to be so lost, God, in the building. God, the way we forget about that we got a real enemy, we got a real devil that hates us, that wants to kill, that wants to steal, and wants to destroy. He wants to do all that he can to thwart what it is, God, that you put on the inside of us. He wants to cancel what it is, God, that you put on the inside of us. God, he wants to throw us off course, and he wants to get us, uh, get, get our focus and our intention off of the main thing. Oh, but God, we give you glory for it now, God. We pray for a spirit of sobriety. We will not be intoxicated by the by this world. We not get intoxicated by the lust of the flesh and by the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. We will not be intoxicated, God, about what he said and what she said and what I heard over here. God, we won't get intoxicated, God, by by by, by what the what by validation and affirmation, seeking after those things from all the wrong people. We won't get intoxicated. But no, you said in your word, be sober. And God, we want to be sober, God. We want our minds to be sober. We want our heart to be sober, God. We want our spirits to be sober, God. We want to be, we want to be, we want to be, you said not only be sober, you said be vigilant. And that means to be alert, God. We want to be alert. We want to have our head on the swivel. God, that we'll be able to look around and see, and we're always able to watch our surroundings. That's what we tell our, our children. Always be watching your surroundings. Just don't be jumping out the car, walking all willy-nilly. Be walking, looking around you. See, see who's around you. See who's parked next to you. See who's across the street. See, see how people move. You got to be, you got to be, be vigilant. And God, we pray in the name of Jesus that we'll take that in our hearts and in our minds and we'll, we'll be we'll be vigilant God we won't we won't be all willy nilly just going through life thinking everybody like us and think everybody got their best our best interest at mind and at heart but no God help us to be alert help us to be vigilant help us to know God that 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 there's going to be assaults and there's going to be attacks God and there's going to be words that's going to be said and there's going to be things that's going to be done but God we want to we want to bring you glory and bring you honor with everything God that you've assigned to our hand so we we pray for a spirit of sobriety and we pray for a spirit of alertness, a spirit of, of, of vigilance. In the name of Jesus, God, that where we'll understand what's going on, God. So the least little thing, God, won't throw us off. If we're sober, if we're vigilant, God, the least little thing, God, won't have us all discouraged. If we're sober and we're vigilant, the least little thing, God, won't cause us, God, to move forward, won't cause us not to advance, won't cause us, God, to be in purpose and to be where it is, God, that you desire for us to be. We thank you in the name of Jesus, God, because there's a place that you're desiring to carry us. There's a place you're desiring to meet us. That's what you told Adam. You said, Adam, Adam, where are you? Where are you at, Adam? Uh, the voice of the Lord was walking in the midst of the garden. They wanted to, wanted to, you wanted to talk to Adam. You wanted, to, you wanted to fellowship with Adam, but Adam was hiding. Adam wasn't in place. Adam was, was, was somewhere else because of what he did and because of what, what, what transpired. And God, we don't want, we don't want it to be said about us, God, that we're, we're, we're supposed to be in, in, in somewhere. We're supposed to be at a place. We're supposed to be at a position. We're supposed to, God, be meeting you. We're supposed to be in that sweet spot. 
We're supposed to be in that place of purpose and that, that place of destiny. We're supposed to be at that place, God, that you ordained for us before the foundation of the world. Uh, but God, we don't want to be hiding in our feelings and, and be hiding, God, but because, because, because of this and because of that, God, all of these reasons and all of these excuses and all these things that we have. Oh, but God, we want to be in purpose and want to be in place. We don't want to be hiding like Gideon was threshing, threshing, um, wheat in a, in a wine press. He just, when you're threshing wheat, you, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be uh, uh, up, up top. You're supposed to be on the top of the, of the hill and the, on the top of the, the, the plateau. You're supposed to be in a, in a, in a place of, uh, in a, in a, in a, on, on a high land, whenever it is that you're threshing wheat, but he's down in the wine press and he, he's doing double the work. When you're down in the wine press, the wine press is below. Uh, it's made for when somebody is trying to make wine. That's why it's called a wine press. They, they step on the grapes and step on the fruit or step on whatever they're stepping on and the juice is supposed to flow down to be able to, 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 to be able to capture all of the juices. But you, when you're threshing wheat in a wine press, you, you, you're double working, you're triple working and you're, you're just, uh, just all over the place and just, you doing, you're working hard, but don't got, got a little bit to show for, uh, but because, because of fear and because of, because of not being in place and not being in purpose. Uh, but God, we don't want to be like Gideon. God, he's supposed to be threshing God somewhere else, but he's threshing down low. But God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that we'll be in place. And that's what happened with Gideon. The, 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 the angel showed up and said, what are you doing, Gideon? What, what in the world are you doing? You mighty man of valor. And God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, that, that even this prayer and God, even the words of this prayer, God, it appears our very hearts and appears our very mind. God, the way you, you, you're saying to us, COVID, what are you doing? You're saying to us, what, whatever our name is, what, what are you doing? You're supposed to be here. You're supposed to be threshing there. You, you're supposed to be in purpose there and you're here and you're hiding. And, you, and I, I told you what to do, and I told you how to do it, and I told you when to do it. And, and, and but, but getting still because of fear, and because of doubt, and because of unbelief, because of because of uh, people, and because of mistakes, and because of this, and because of that, we, we, we're not in purpose. But God, we want to get in purpose right now in the name of Jesus. And you're calling us a mighty warrior when we're when when, when the position that we're in, what, what, what we're exemplifying, exemplifying fear. Uh, he he get in and look like a mighty man of valor. I'm sure he looked around trying to figure out who the angel was talking to. I'm sure he said, who me? Uh, but because of, because of, he was, he was walking in fear. He was drenched in fear. He was, he was, he was, he was, he was zooed in fear. Uh, but, but, but God, I'm so grateful that, that you'll call us something, God, that, that you know what's on the inside of us. That we may not be, be we may not be, uh, we may not be fruitful in that area as of yet. But God, you'll, you'll speak to us, not where we are, but God, you'll speak to us, you'll speak to our destiny. You'll speak to our purpose. You'll speak to where where it is, God, that you're carrying us. And God, right now, God, we may have not been 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 living oh, in a way, God, or been uh, handling this situation the way that you want us to handle it. We may have we may have been handling this these situations in a way, God, that does not glorify you, that does not exalt you, that does not magnify you. But right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we're gonna we're gonna line our lives up, God, with what it is that you said over us. We're gonna line our lives up, God, over uh, in alignment, God, with what it is that you spoken. Uh, God, you said that we're the head and not the tail. We're going to align our lives that way. You said we're from e we're forever above and not beneath. We're going to align our lives that way. God, you said that we're the lender, not the borrower. God, you said that, that, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. You said in your word, God, that, that you are our strength. That you said, God, that you will, you'll cause us, God, to mount up with wings as eagles. God, you told us that we'll, we'll be able to endure hardness as good soldiers. You told us, God, that we can overcome. You told us, God, that, that when we, when we abide in you. We can ask what we will, God, and your cause us to be more than conquer. We give your name the glory, God, because we want to align ourselves up with what you said. That's what you told Elisha. You told Elijah, you said, Elisha, what are you doing in this cave? I didn't tell you to be in this cave. You're running from Jezebel. You're running because she said she was going to kill you, and now you're running, and then you're hiding. Come out of this cave. I got purpose for you, and God, you, you I believe you're speaking that over your people today, God, that some of us, uh, some of us were still functioning, and some of us we're still showing up and some of us God we're still we're still being accounted for but God in our heart of hearts we're in a cave uh, we, some of us God we, we front line and center we smiling and we laughing and we shucking and jiving <laughs> we doing all of that but God in our hearts we're in the cave God we're doing we, 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 we're, we're acting the part God we're putting the best foot forward or, or whatever the case whatever phraseology we want to use but God we're in a cave we pray in the name of Jesus God that where we'll do what we need to do God that where we can come out of 
of our caves and come out of our hiding and come out of us feeling sorry for ourselves and come out of us feeling God as if we're uh, feeling depressed and feeling uh, having all this anxiety and having all this unnecessary pressure and God will come out and we'll walk in purpose and we'll come out and we'll walk in destiny and we'll come out and God will be who it is God that you desire for us to be God everything God that you've assigned our hands to do oh God we want to bring you glory in that area everything that you called us to do God we want to bring you honor in that area God whatever that thing may be and God, we're not just talking natural. God, we're talking spiritual as well because some of us, God, we master the natural God. We're awesome spouses, God. We're awesome husbands and we're awesome wives, God. And we're awesome mothers and we're awesome fathers, God. And we're, we're the model employees, God. And we, we do what we need to do, God. And what, and what it is, God, that we do naturally. But God, sometimes in the, in the spiritual, God, we're not as, we're not as productive. We're not as available. We're not as faithful. We're not as flexible. Flexible. But right now, in the name of Jesus, God, even in the things of the spirit, God, we're not just going to just come and go and just and just kind of go, um, you know, blase, blase. But no, God, we want to be on fire for you. And God, we pray that prayer right now in the name of Jesus. God, we ask you to light our fire. We pray in the name of Jesus. God, some of us have lost our zeal and some of us have lost our passion and some of us have lost our intensity when it comes to you. And God, I, oftentimes we can we can trace it back to we can trace it back something to, to something that happen. Oftentimes, God, we can trace it back, God, to a letdown. Oftentimes, we can trace it back to us getting our feelings hurt. Oftentimes, we can trace it back down to, to our, 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 our unrealized expectations. Sometimes, we can trace it back, God, to, to a particular thing, a particular incident. Sometimes, we can trace it back to a death or take, take, trace it back to a loss or, or we can trace it back, God, to, to something that jumped off or something that happened that knocked the wind out of us that we wasn't expecting, we wasn't looking to happen. But right now, when the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask you, God, to, to, to take us back, God, to when we first found you. We ask you to take us back, God, to when we first had that twinkle in our eyes and we had that fire in our eyes when we first met you. God, it was January 2001 for me, God, when I when I said yes to you and that, that feeling that I have and that feeling that I had, God, at that time, it just it just was unbelievable. It just had that that joy and that that enthusiasm and that, and that peace. We pray, God, that, that, that you just don't take us back to when when we first found you, but God, we want to go further and God, we desire to go deeper and God, we desire God to have that, that, that same zeal and that same childlike faith. God, when we didn't know the Hebrew and the Greek and we didn't know about the stage of truth and we didn't know about soteriology and we didn't know about uh, pneumatology and eschatology and ecclesiology and we didn't know about all these things. God, we just knew Jesus and God, when we just knew Jesus and we didn't, we didn't know about Jehovah Jireh and Nisi and Shalom and, and we didn't know about Roa, and we didn't know about El Shaddai, and we didn't know all of these things, God, that we know now. Oh, but God, all we knew is that you saved us. All we knew is that you delivered us. All we knew is that you brought us out. And God, we ask you to take us back, God. We ask you to heal that hurt in our heart, and heal that pain in our heart, and heal that frustration in our heart. Oh, like like the, like you had to do for Mary, Martha, and when, when Lazarus died, you showed up, and Martha said, oh, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And that's what some of us are saying in our spirit. Lord, if you would have been there for me, then I wouldn't have lost my zeal. Lord, if you would have been there for me, God, I wouldn't have lost my enthusiasm. If you would have been there for me, God, then, then I wouldn't I wouldn't be feeling the way that I'm feeling. I'm feeling some type of way. That's why I'm not as faithful as I used to be. That's why I don't, that's why I don't, the, 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 the things of God don't, don't, don't exhilarate me like they used to. That's why, that's why I don't have that fervor and that fight and that fire no more. Because Lord, if you would have been here, that wouldn't have died, or this wouldn't have died, or that wouldn't have ended that way, or that wouldn't have went that way. Oh, but Jesus, just like you responded, you responded to them. He said, show me where you laid them at. Show me where that thing is. And God, this morning, right now in the name of Jesus, in full transparency and full vulnerability, God, we show you where it hurts. We show you where we laid it. We, we, we show you where we put it at. And some of us, we put a stone in front of it, uh, because we, we put that, that wall, that, 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 that veneer at that, that, that thing that make it look like there's nothing behind this wall, but no, God, it, it, it's pain there. That's hurt there. So we show it to you right now in the name of Jesus. And God, we, we, we know that you're going to do what you do as you're going to call it forth right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the thing, God, that you're going to call forth. Thank you for that thing that has died, that thing that we've given up on, that thing that, that we, we pronounce the benediction over. God, you're going to call it forth in the name of Jesus. And we give you glory for it now. We give you honor for calling 
falling and fall. Oh God, we give you glory and honor, God. That thing, God, that we walked away and said, oh, it can't happen. It won't happen. That thing, God, we, we call it, you, you call it forth according to your word and your purpose and your will, God. We give your name glory for it now and honor for it now. Thank you for your resurrection power. Thank you for not being the God of a second chance, but know you're the God of another chance. And we thank you, God, for calling it out and calling it forth. And God, we're able, God, because of what we, because we showed it to you, God, you're able to do what only you can do. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We ask you, God, to restore unto us the joy of our salvation. We ask you, God, to give us our fervor, give us our fervor back, God. Give us our fire back. Give us our intensity back. God, we want to be like that deer that paints after the water, God. We want to hunger and thirst after righteousness. And God, you said when we do that, God, you said we'll be filled. We thank you, God, because we know that you're going to do it. And God, we're also praying this morning. We're praying that we'll allow the Spirit of God to saturate us with, it, with, with his love. And we're praying that his love will birth a burden for, for, for our community. And put a burden on the inside of us and we're praying that we'll be, that we'll be able to see, uh, everyone through the eyes or through the lenses of Christ. That's what our desire is. God, when, when, when we, when we allow you, God, to, 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 to be able to, to, to give us our zeal and our zest back, God, and our hunger and our thirst for you, we have, we'll be burdened for our community. We'll be burdened for our family. Oftentimes we can't be burdened for nobody else, God, because we're trying to carry our own burden, because we're trying to deal with our own mess. But right now, in the name of Jesus, when we cast our care, to you. When we give our mess to you, God, then you'll be able, God, you'll be able then, God, to be able to give us a burden for somebody else, God. You'll be able to give us a burden, God, that we'll, we'll be able to know what it is, God, that you are assigning us to do. And for that, God, we tell you, thank you. We give you glory for the burden. God, help us to pray for our family and pray for our community. Help us, God, to let our light so shine. Let our lives be so live that we are those salt mines and we are those, we are those, we are those lighthouses, God, that we're shining forth your light. And God, we're, we're adding the flavor of God to everyday society. We thank you for it because we know that you're desiring to do it. We pray for our co-workers, God. We pray, God, for those people on our job that may not we, 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 we may not jail well together. We may not flow well together, but we pray for them, God. We don't talk about them. God, we don't dog them out. We don't join into the gossip in the rumor mill and we don't we don't talk about them behind their back, but we pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you'll give us a heart and a mind that where we don't if we can't have a whole conversation with them, we pray, God, that we can have a conversation with you about them. And God, we want to be burdened for our co-workers. We want to be burdened for those family members, God, that are challenging. And we, those family members, we got to pray to be around. We got to pray for those, those family members, God, that we got, to, we got to get our mind right and our heart right and our spirit right before we ever be around them. But God, we pray for them and we lift them up. And God, uh, God, I know I know without a shadow of a doubt, if we pray for these people more, if we genuinely pray for them more, God, they won't be so difficult to be around. If we genuinely pray for them, God, and genuinely ask you to give us a heart for them, the heart that you have for them. God, they won't be so difficult to be around, but God, the fact they're so hard to be around shows our lack of prayer. The, so, the fact that God, they're so hard to be around shows our lack of not praying for them and lifting them up. It's hard to be around somebody you're talking about. It's hard to be around somebody in their prison when you're when you, when you, when you gossiping and you're, and you're stabbing them in the back, but God, it, it's hard to be around that individual to interact with them and act like everything is good. Some of us have mastered that, but God, but, but, but for the vast majority of us it's difficult to do that so we pray for those individuals God so when we come in their presence God will be able We'll be able to love them the way that you so desire for us to love them. And God, we thank you for it because you're going to give us a burden for all these folks. You're going to give us a burden for our community, a burden for our co-workers, a burden for our family members. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for the burden to have a kingdom marriage. That's what we desire. We want our marriages, God, to reflect what it is that you had in mind. And when you sent Jesus Christ in the earth, that's what our marriages are supposed to be, a model of the church. It's supposed to be a model of how you interact with your church and how you interact with your people. You, you, you're married to the church and that's what our, that's what our marriage is supposed to reflect. And God, we pray that we'll have kingdom marriages. We pray God that we'll lift up our spouses, God, and we'll try to outserve one another and out love one another. And God, we'll just do what we need to do, God, that where our marriages, God, can reflect your glory and your goodness and your majesty. Help us to forgive and to forget and to forgive and to love and to forgive and to love and to forgive and to love. Help us, God, to allow that to be a part of our hearts and our minds. Help us to glorify 
glorify you, God, in our singleness, God. We pray, God, while we're in our single season, God, that we'll, we'll serve you and we'll, we'll edify you, God, and we'll magnify you, God, in everything that we do. Help us, God, not to feel like we're missing out, but God, help us to feel as if, God, or to know without a shadow of a doubt that we're in your timing, we're in your plan, we're in your purpose, God. And whenever it is, God, that you're ready, God, if that is your plan, if that is your design for us, whenever it is you're ready, God, you'll make it happen. But God, help us to be content, God. You said in your word, God, in whatever state that we're in, God, we ought to be content. And God, that's what our hearts is. We want to be content, God, whether we're, whether we're single or we're married, God, we want to be content. God, whether we got a lot or we got a little, we want to be content. God, whether we got challenges in our health or God, we feel good. It makes no difference. We want to be content. We want to be satisfied with our share. That's what content means, to be satisfied with one share. We want to be satisfied with what you gave us. We want to be content, God. And we pray in the name of Jesus, we'll exemplify that, God, and wherever we are in our relationships and wherever we are in our careers and wherever we are financially, we pray, God, that you'll do that. And I pray. Every individual is going through in their body physically so many different ailments and so many different diagnoses and so many people having procedures and surgeries and, 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 and in the hospital and got this going on and got that going on. I pray for every last one of them right now in the name of Jesus and every person that's under the sound of my voice, God, they're dealing with whatever it is they're dealing with. I pray, God, that you'll heal them and I pray, God, that you'll strengthen them and I pray, God, that you'll do what only you can do in the name of Jesus, God, because you are our re-rewarder. We pray in the name of Jesus that you are because you can because you are the healer and God because you are the you are Jehovah Rapha. I ask you to touch them from the crown of their head and to the sole of their feet, God, to do what only you can do, God, in the name of Jesus, regardless of what the situation is, regardless of the pain, regardless of the diagnosis. Doesn't matter if it's cancer, doesn't matter if it's a migraines, it doesn't matter if it's arthritis, doesn't matter if it's gout, doesn't matter what the situation is, God, tumors, it doesn't matter AIDS, it doesn't matter what it is, God. No, no matter what we name, you said in your word at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. And God, we speak healing, God, over your people right now in the name of Jesus. We speak financial freedom over the lives of your people right now in the name of Jesus. I don't believe it's your will for us to be perpetually struggling and perpetually broke all the days of our lives. But God, help us to honor you and help us to be able to do what we need to do. And God, you'll make sure that we got everything that we need. We may not be an overflow. We may not be a, a thousandaire. may not be a multimillionaire. But God, we'll be an heir. And God, because because we're air, uh, we're air with you. And God, you're going to make sure that all of our needs are taken care of. And I speak that over the lives of your people, God, that we'll walk in purpose and we'll walk in faith, knowing, God, that you're going to supply and you're going to take care of everything that we need. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. I thank you for Truth and Love Ministries. Thank you for what it is that you're doing in and through our local church. We ask you to continue to send your people. We ask you, God, to continue to send them from the east and the west and the north and the south and you, Lynn, Orange Park and, and all of these places in Middleburg and the surrounding areas. We pray, God, that you'll send your people. And God, as you're sending your people, we want to be able to, to handle them with care and handle them with love. And we thank you for it. We thank you for, for, for what it is you're doing in our ministry, the way the vision is continuing to come to pass. And God, it, it may look like it's, it, it's tarrying is what her Rebecca said, but God, you, you said, wait for it. They said, it, it shall come. And God, we thank you that the vision is unfolding and the vision is coming to pass. And God, we thank you for all that you're going to do and all that you are doing in and through our local church. Thank you that we got servants enough, God. We got servants uh, galore. We, we got more servants and we got vision. We pray, God, that we have adequate servants and we got servants enough and we got resources enough and we got facility enough and classrooms enough and sanctuary enough. We thank you, God, that we got everything that we need to do what it is that you've assigned for us to be able to do. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for my wife. I thank you for Lady Camilla Nesbitt. I thank you for who she is to you. I thank you for what she models and what she exemplifies. I thank you for her love and her concern and her compassion that she has for the people of God. And I thank you for everything that you put down on in her heart and everything, God, that you so um, have, have, have given to her, have assigned to her hand. We pray, God, that it'll come to pass in the name of Jesus, according your plan and your will and your purposes in and through her. Thank you for Sharia, Kendall, Carson, C4. Thank you for my children. 
that you'll keep them and you'll you'll keep them from all hurt, harm, danger. Keep them from the desires of the enemy. And God, we thank you, God, because we know that you're going to do it because you're that kind of God. We thank you, God, for all of the prayers and all this intercession. And God, maybe I didn't touch on what it was that 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 somebody may have been looking for you to minister to or speak to. But God, when we're under this umbrella of your anointing and under this umbrella of prayer, God, we 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 have to we have to learn that we can tap in and we have to learn. God, that, that that we can be able to to put our faith and connect our faith with the faith of the, the one that's leading the prayer and facilitating the prayer, knowing, God, that you hear us too. You see us. You see where we are. Our situation may not have been called out, but, God, you see us. You know exactly where we are. And, God, you're going to minister to us right now in the name of Jesus. You got us, God, because you, you are Lord. You are God. You are Father. And we thank you for it because we know you're going to do it. And this is the confidence that we have in you. If we ask anything according to your will, God, you said we can have it. And we thank you in advance. In Jesus' matchless name, amen, amen, and a to the man, amen. Well, I love you, Truth and Love Nation. Uh, once again, thank you so much for uh, man, your faithfulness and your commitment uh, to this time of prayer. Um, I appreciate you all. Again, I, I'm just showing up because y'all are here. Uh, this, is our, this is our time of corporate prayer as, as the family of God, the people of God. We pray all the time. Um, but it's something about us coming together. We ought, we ought to make sure that we continue to do that. So I love y'all and I thank God for you. Make sure you post on group me, um, get an opportunity. We do that so we can be able to let one another know, man, this is a culture of prayer. This is a, a house of prayer and, 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 and pastors does not own the prayer call every Wednesday by himself. No, we standing with him. We doing it with him. I know sometimes it seems like it is a, um, it is a, uh, a mindless ritual just to post on group me, but it goes along way you all sometimes we got to learn as a blessing it's just simply a blessing and obedience just because because you know that the, 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 the pastor know what he's talking about sometimes so it's a blessing and just following instruction so thank you for everybody who does that on a regular basis i appreciate you um listen you all what else we got going on of course tomorrow is is thursdays through the word i ask you to uh, make sure that you uh, that you make yourself available um, at high noon if you're working. It's the, the stream stays up all day. Do what you need to do. Y'all quit. Y'all posting already. And I'm not even finished, but I appreciate you. I got my phone in my hand. I don't see who it is, but y'all posting something. But anyway, thank you for your obedience. I appreciate you. Uh, discipleship development classes um, tonight at 7. Um, we're getting the intercessors going, going back to the altar. That's going to be Friday night uh, on May 19th. Um, starting at nine all the way to Saturday morning. So it's going to be a, a shut in all night prayer meeting. Um, back to the altar. Security is going to be available. Um, with that. And so, um, and I think that's everything that I'm going to make mention of. Again, Thursdays through the word tomorrow, high noon. We're in John chapter seven. Going to be an absolutely phenomenal time. And I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I pray that you have a, a powerful day on purpose. I'll see you soon. All right. Peace out. Bye bye. Here come the church. Now y'all can post. Bye bye. <laughs>